Today I'm bringing you my top 10 must-have tools to use with your Cricut. You know I'll always give you my honest opinion, so I'm sharing the tools in brands that I personally use and love that will also save you money. I'll pop links to these products in the description below. Let's get into it. Before I found this tool, I would end up with vinyl pieces all over me. One time, I answered the door to the postman with a big piece of red vinyl stuck to my face. No more vinyl on the loose with this vinyl collector. It's like a tiny bin for your vinyl, allowing you to collect all the tiny pieces you pick out when weeding. It slips right on your finger and you simply drag your tool through one of the edges. When it's full, turn it inside out and empty the contents. Scrapers come in two main types. This slim metal design, which is great for lifting smaller pieces, and this plastic scraper, which comes in both a small and large size. I most frequently use this one to scrape materials off my mat. I also use this little plastic one for burnishing vinyl. Seriously guys, buy the off-brand tools. I own both a set of Cricut tools and kneecapper tools, and I honestly can't tell the difference. So you're really only buying the Cricut name when you purchase their tools. Plastic sheets have a lot of use with your Cricut, from making windowed boxes, stencils, and even using it as glass in miniature pieces. But I've got a cheaper and long-lasting alternative, a laminator. Not only can you create cheap acetate, you can also use a laminator to make glossy, waterproof sticker sheets. The brayer will remove air bubbles and adhere your material firmly to your mat, improving cut quality. I use this tool on a whole range of materials, from vinyl to cardstock, even wood. Cricut makes a brayer, but like most Cricut items, you're paying extra money for the Cricut name. As you can see here, a no-name brayer is just as good. If you're a heavy cardstock user like me, you need glue. My favourite all-rounder glue is Helmer's Craft Glue, which is tacky and dries fast. This glue can adhere fabrics, leather, soft woods and other craft materials. I use this fine-tipped glue bottle to get in the little nooks and crannies of my intricate designs. This saves you releasing too much glue from the nozzle and gives you much greater control. I also love using adhesive tape for my cardstock projects because it's no mess, no fuss. Now I know you might be thinking, why do I need a cutter when I already have a cutting machine? But hear me out because this tool is a game changer. Say I make a small decal and I wanna trim my vinyl down, instead of using scissors, I can use my little mini rotary cutter to slice this piece off. And voila, you've just saved time and materials. If I'm using smart vinyl, I can also cut just the vinyl piece off, keeping the backing intact so I can refeed the same piece through my Cricut. If you're like me and cut a lot of cardstock and vinyl, your fine point blade will wear out at some point. Mine lasted for about two months of heavy use. I went online to buy a replacement blade and I was shocked to see that the price of one Cricut replacement blade was 15 US dollars. Then I found these blades on Amazon. The red ones are a 45 degree angle, which replaces your Cricut fine point blade. The quality may not be as good as Cricut's German carbide steel blades, but you get 40 replacement blades in this single pack for less than the cost of a single Cricut fine point blade replacement. 
I know which one I'll be buying. Do you find Cricut pens are a bit too expensive? If so, you absolutely need this pen adapter set. The adapter replaces your Cricut pen holder inside A of your Cricut Explore or Maker series. It allows you to insert a whole bunch of pens not normally available to use on your Cricut. You can even use pens of different thickness from gel pens to markers. I made these Christmas colouring in pages with a black sharpie. Stop wasting money on Cricut mats. These kneecapper mats are identical to the Cricut brand. They come in all the same types as the Cricut mats, including light, standard grip, fabric and the strong grip mat. They last just as long and retain stickiness. Best of all, they're cheaper. When they're not on sale, two Cricut standard grip mats retail for about 16 US dollars. You can buy three kneecapper mats for the same price. Number one on my list, and the tool I simply cannot live without, are my precision tweezers. Forget the weeding tool and invest in a set of these bad boys. They come in various sizes and angles, but all come with this very sharp pointy end. So not only can you poke the vinyl, just like a weeding tool, but you can also pick up the pieces with your tweezers. It's so much easier and faster to use these tweezers instead of a weeding tool. I hope you love my top 10 list. Leave me a comment below to share your favourite tools and subscribe if you'd like to watch more Itsy Bitsy content.